Hey there, so I wanted to come back and do an update on this wig that I got from Amazon from Tin Chopsticks. Um, and the, one of the reasons, well, probably the only reason because I hadn't planned on doing an update, but I wanted to go ahead and do an update just because um, one of the comments, actually it probably was the only comment, yeah. So the comment that I got on this wig, um, I'm just going to read it to you um, and then I'll read my response. So it says, I'm going to take my glasses off because I got new glasses by the way, but they're for distancing so I don't need him to read this. But anyway, it says, oh and then I like the name of this YouTuber's, her YouTuber name. It's called or she's called respect my opinion which I do um, so she said I brought this same wig off Amazon from 10 chopsticks and it's trash it's not 100% human hair it's synthetic blend the lace isn't transparent nor she put SS but I think it's supposed to be high definition HD it's a mess when I read I like to read it as if the person's talking to me I like to express when I read had to get my money back and the company is a scam. I left a bad review on Amazon and they emailed me telling me to email Foxy Wigs. Like, who is that? I thought y'all were 10 chopsticks. So, I hearted her <laughs> and this was my response. I said, LOL, wow, not surprising being that it is a hit and a miss when you purchase on Amazon. You're really just taking your chances but I apparently, I apparently stumbled upon a more decent one because I'm wearing it right now. And I must say, it's still looking decent. No shedding. I may do an update, but sorry your experience wasn't as pleasant. Thanks for your feedback. So, like I say, I wanted to come and do this update because, I mean, I think it still looks good. Let me get back a little bit. You can see all of it. Uh, the wig it hair is soft. Uh, when I run my fingers through it, I don't get any shedding. Uh, that may have been a little piece. Yeah, one strand of hair. And typically when you do this, you're getting more than just one strand. Oh, we got some tangle there. One strand of hair. But, you know, that's the nape of the neck area. You know that, I know. But that's what that's looking like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I think mine looks pretty decent and here, like this is the lace right here and you can see how well it is blending into my skin. There's my parting there. Um, I'll turn around and let you see the back. what the back is looking like so I have washed this wig um, and like all I did was apply some of this cream of nature mousse mousse here and I even went behind that and spritz some water because I was trying to get this was making it like more wavy and I guess it's still kind of wavy, but this was adding a little bit more, like, I don't know if you can tell here where it's like a little bit more curly versus, you know, that Caribbean wave or whatever. But I did apply these two products and just some good old H2O. And again, I think my wig looks pretty good. You can, matter of fact, I have ordered some wigs from Amazon and they were trash. Even after you see some of the reviews on the Amazon page for the particular wig, it's just, you just really never know what you're gonna get. And to be honest, I don't know that that's really necessarily just even with ordering wigs from Amazon. That's probably with any place you can order. You know, these wigs are, you know, either machine made or people just making them and so no two wigs are really alike. 
So you could stumble upon something that's just not as good quality as the next person's wig. Because I see it all the time. It's like, mine didn't look nothing like that. Mine looked like trash. And um, <laughs> so, I mean, it happens and it's unfortunate. But when it does happen, then, you know, you expect to get your money back. And there are a lot of scammers out there as well. So it's just like a risk you're taking when you are purchasing, you know, things like this versus, you know, going into an online versus going into an actual salon and seeing it and getting a feel of it and stuff like that. And I guess even with that, you know, you see the wig, you put it on the first day. Yeah, everything's great. But how well is the wig holding up? That's what everyone wants. That's the question. That is the million dollar question. But anyway, I do want to say I wanted to just come back and don't want to be scamming my viewers and saying something just to get a view or get views, you know. Uh, but hey, I actually had success with this wig. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come back and let you guys see it. Hopefully you can maybe get a little closer Let's pick up the camera here. Yeah, hopefully you can see it good there. We got our parting. But yeah, I just and I love the color. Love the color. This color complements my skin. And as I was saying, I got new glasses and they're kind of brown. It kind of goes good with this little hair. That's why I put it on today because I just got these glasses. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to come and just give that update. So far, this is working for me. She said it feels like a synthetic blend. Um, to me. It doesn't. I've had synthetic blend wigs and this does actually to me feel like, you know, human hair to me. But like I said, she said she was supposed to email back Foxy Wig. So maybe the particular wig that she got came from Foxy Wig instead of 10 chopsticks. And maybe that's where the issue is lying. So she didn't get the wig that was being advertised from 10 chopsticks. She may have got a wig from foxy wig i don't know but anyway i hope she can you know get that issue resolved they'll give her her money back but like i say i just wanted to come back and let you know that so far mine is doing pretty decent and i, I wear i've been wearing it a lot like one week to work i wore it uh to work i think i worked four days that week so i wore it every day that week to work and it survived 12 hour shift well, two 12-hour shifts and <laughs> two six-hour shifts. But still, the point is, I've been wearing it, so it's not like it's just been sitting on the wig head. I've actually been getting use out of this wig, and as far as I can see, you know, I think this wig still looks good. You may not feel the same way, but hey, I'm satisfied with it. But that's all I wanted to say, guys. Thank you for watching, and peace out.